And then they say stuff like, I can't move you. I'm like, you mean give me this piece? You can't take it back. But they'll try to always get you to come where in the flesh so that you can realize that God is not in control. To say, oh, I'm going to take control of this situation. Praise the Lord. So, this right here, firmly, when you're dealing with that, when you're dealing with you, right, it gives understanding versus underestimating. When you're underestimating, you can't have the peace. But when you have full understanding, God is received. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We just give God the praise. Hallelujah. Right? So that deals with the you of understanding versus underestimating. Can we get an amen to that word? Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that's number four of focus. Amen. Man, God is good. And I love it because he always uses the number five to represent grace. See, we're saved by the grace of God. Not by what we did. But what he did, all we got to do is walk in it. Just obey the word. Have you ever been in a situation where you said, oh my God. How in the world did this happen? Even before you was in Christ. Yeah. God was protecting you even when you didn't even know him. That's right. Even when you wasn't confident that he laid right. the foundation of the earth. And now that you're in him, now you can receive him and enjoy what God has given to you and predestined for you to have before the foundation of the earth. That's why now when you're in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have peace. Mm -hmm. Now you have understanding. And now you have purpose. Without no purpose, there's no peace. What profit of a man to conquer the whole world and lose his soul? Amen. Yeah. Woo! Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You're giving us a word here. Okay. Amen. So, that scripture was to identify that God is who he said he is. And if you don't want to acknowledge that, then he's going to let them enemies come beat you down. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, now... We're going to look at S, self-esteem versus self-righteousness. Self-esteem versus self-righteousness. Praise the Lord. When you have the self-esteem of God, then you do, you're, you're standing on the word. But when you're self-righteous, you're standing on your flesh, yourself. I can do everything. You can you you wasn't even responsible for bringing yourself into the world. <laughs> so how could you have true self-esteem when you're not standing on the one that gave you life? When you're on him, your self-esteem is firm. And people are like, oh, that's a charge that I want to be a part of because that sounds like something that's not confusing. It sounds like something that knows where it's going. The Bible says in Proverbs 29 18 that the people perish for lack of vision. If you try to stand on the, on, on the world, you will be in the future. They still